G'day guys, it's Greg's Kitchen Time once again and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious cheese omelette. Now I love these things, they're great for breakfast or just for a snack and they are so easy to make. So, let's stop just standing around talking about them. How about we go and make one? Come on! Okay, so what you're going to need for this is some eggs, two or three, I'm using three, only because I'm starving, some butter, some salt and pepper, and some cheese. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is break these eggs into your bowl that you're going to use, just like that. Make sure you don't get any shell in there, because that'll be a bit crunchy. Now we're just going to add a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. I'm using white pepper because I like white pepper. And then all we need to do is mix it together. Now you put the salt and pepper in first because then that mixes evenly through the whole mix. Now something else I'd like to add is some hot sauce. Now this is quite a thick hot sauce, but uh, something like a Tabasco or that Nando stuff is good, just a tiny bit. And I'll mix that through too. Shh, don't tell anyone though. Well now that mixture's all combined, it's time to start cooking this bad boy. Okay, so over a medium heat into my nice frying pan, I'm gonna stick some butter. <laughs> Why? Because I love butter. And once that butter gets all fluffy like that, it's time to pour in the omelet mix. So we've just got to start cooking this, try and get all that stuff to cook, get fairly solid. Now the problem with three eggs, you get a lot of liquid, so we'll just try and pour that underneath, just to hide it. <laughs> the perfect crime. So we'll just cook this, like I said, for a few minutes, until this is still a little bit runny, because it doesn't really matter, as you can see, it's thickening up. Now when that's sort of thickening up like that, I'm just going to add the cheese over one side of it like that. And now comes the tricky part because I just want to flip one half of this over like that. Oh, like that. Oh, well you get the idea. I'm going to turn the heat off now because obviously that's looking pretty cooked. And now all you need to do is transfer it onto a plate. As you can see I've already made a piece of toast and that's it! Done! Now if you're worried that that was still a little bit raw inside, don't because it's still so hot in there that it's going to keep cooking and there won't be any runny bits inside. Anyway, I reckon it's time for a taste test. We'll have a look at that. The cheese is melted. It's coming out beautifully. It looks great. Right, well, I can't wait to try this. Oh, yum! Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so delicious. Mmm! Wow! Oh, mate! That tastes so good! I'm like, oh man, this is awesome. And just with that little tiny bit of chilli in there, it just adds this little Little, little tickle to the back of your throat and that little bit of spice that I like. Now if you don't like chilli, don't add it. But oh mate, that taste is so good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to thumb it up for me. Leave a comment as well. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do. And thank you all to those who have subscribed. And I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen.